Hello, I'm Jacobo here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, um, yeah, I haven't been uploading in a while. Uh, and if any one of you actually saw my yesterdays or any of my streams I did uh, this weekend, you probably noticed that I was coughing, uh, like, a lot. Uh, I think I might have coughed off a lung or a, a, a half, but anyway, that doesn't matter. I was, I caught a very, very nasty cold. I wasn't able to speak, like, at all. But now I'm much better, and I do have some things prepared. But first and foremost, this. Evil Swarm Dogmatica Shadow. Uh, it's, a, it's a very old uh, deck concept, at least uh, for uh, Evil Swarm uh, Shadow. I just added Dogmatica uh, Engine for some additional uh, interruption and stuff. So. What does it do? It basically wants to establish uh, Ophion and uh, Wind on the Field ASAP. Now, this uh, introduces a very interesting uh, mechanic since uh, the opponent does have only one special summon per turn and cannot special summon any level 5 or higher monsters. And since we're in a meta mostly with uh, branded stuff, so. Uh, there will be some some fusion plays. Uh, cards like Ophion are very in demand and can actually be extremely, extremely powerful. But without further ado, let's go through the cards as they are. We're playing Triple Evil from Heliotro and Triple Rescue Rabbit to facilitate this play. That's basically rabbit stuff, but for Evil Swarms. Uh, next is uh, Triple Evil Swarm Caster with one reinforcement of the army to search the bastard. What I like about Evil Swarms is uh, that the entirety of the Evil Swarm package basically bypasses when does uh, lock for one special summon per turn, since all uh, main our starters for the Evil Swarm, those being Caster and Kerakion, normal summon. So that bypasses mm, Windows lock. But we're also playing Triple Mandragora, which can special summon itself if the opponent controls more monsters. Uh, triple Pandemic, just to have some uh, protection. Uh, for our stalls, we're playing one Dragon, one Beast, and one Schism. And that's it. Uh, for, for the Dogmatica, we're playing Triple Ecclesia. A double Nadia Servant and Triple Punishment, just so we can have some additional disruption. And to get to our Shadow package easier, since basically most of the deck is dark, Triple Law of Darkness is welcomed. For the hand traps, we're playing Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Imperm. We're also playing a small Utopia double package, so Double of no or Nothing is required. As for the extra deck, we're playing Double Titanic Lab. One Apcolon, double Wind Up, and double NTSS. Apcolon is here just so we can get to Schism, and we can make Wind Up with uh, Apcolon or with the Wind Up uh, if it gets destroyed, since most of the deck is dark, so it doesn't matter. NTSS and uh, Titan Clad are here because we can send them to the graveyards and get some you know, pluses of those. For our Xyz monsters, we're playing Triple Ophion, which is our main Xyz we're going into. One Utopia, one Thanatos, which is a pretty interesting uh, monster. I didn't know what to get here, but so so I just get, got this. Uh, one Tornado Dragon for some back row removal. Uh, one Nightmare and one Utopia Double for some easy OPKs. So that would be it uh, for today. Uh, the deck is very interesting. And as for now, let's go to the deck's stats. 